Hello and welcome to another video of Eternal Gains. This is the channel where I show you how to make the most out of your capital and grow your stack in the most efficient and most safe way. We are not a gambling channel here, so if you want to make money in the long run, you're in the right place here. Let's get started. Today I want to talk to you about how to survive micro caps. This is basically in addition to the uh, trend to the DeFi psychology video what I released. I will put a link up in the description as well to this video. Go and check it out. Um, so micro caps are uh, coins which have a pretty low market cap. As you can see here, market cap is estimated to 6.1 million. 6.1 million is not a big market cap. If we come over here to coin market cap and we look for the list sorted by market cap, then you will see like 6 million is pretty much nothing. You have 6 billion here, right? So even if you go to the to the bottom of the top 100, we are talking 1 billion. So 6 million is tiny, 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 right? Okay, what are we going to do? I was mentioning this uh, coin, Chrome, Chromatic Finance, already in a, in a previous video, in a game hunt. And I want to talk to you now what to do if you are in this situation right now. Let's assume you bought somewhere here or you bought here. And today you check your portfolio, check the coin and see, oh my goodness. This coin is garbage, you're thinking, right? Oh, minus 63%. Okay, to be fair, with micro caps, many of them are garbage. So it can definitely happen. This thing just goes down forever and basically fades, fades out to eternity and never comes back up again. So how to play these coins? In case you didn't sell yet and you're looking at a loss like plus 50%. Then you have to do some digging before you make a decision. And this is exactly what I said in the other video. Smart money. As a smart trader, you need a plan. Okay. Let's say you missed to exit for whatever reason. You're in still. Okay. And you lost your, your, your coin. The value lost like 50%, 60%, whatever. Right? 61% here. The first thing what you want to do is come over here to Twitter and check what is going on with this coin, right? Is there anything happening here? Now you can see Chrome, Chromatic Finance, this is the, the developers which bring it out. And um, now the first thing what you wanna do is maybe hop into the Discord or hop in the, into the Telegram, you know, see what they are doing and see if there are any updates going on. And if you're looking here, just three hours ago, they actually announced an armor, right? They announced um, like an event where you can ask them questions about this project, how it's going. So this is already a good sign. The price of the token is massively down, but they are still active, right? They keep tweeting. They keep announcing stuff, you know, seven hours ago, they speak about the roadmap. So it seems like that they are serious about the project because if it's really a shit project and they just want to make some money off of the people who invest into the coin, then most of the time the thing pumps, you know, they make a lot of hype. And as soon as we are somewhere here and the coin like lost a lot of value, then they basically just go silent and you don't hear anything again of them. Um, in this case, they also have a website. So I always recommend to definitely have a look at the website and see what is going on here. Now, if you would have looked at this website just a few days ago, then you would notice that already the site got updated, right? So they changed a whole a whole bunch of of uh, of the UI here. So it's pretty much a new it's pretty much a new a new website. Now we have also an, a beta going on here, which was not there two days ago. So you see, there's something happening. Um, another good way of checking if there's anything going on is, is checking their GitHub. Okay. Because on the GitHub, you will see which, like if there's any um, active development. In this case, you can see it here, resources, GitHub. Let's check it out. Okay. Now, what you want to look for is this over here. So this is the last commit to this repository. So the repository basically contains all the code for this project. So in most cases, the front end, the back end, all the, all the smart contracts, 
and all of these things are in their GitHub repository. So it's open source. Everybody can come here. You can check if you are um, if you understand Solidity, the programming language of Ethereum. You can just come over here. You can check the source code. And you could even verify the contracts to understand exactly what the contract is doing. But even if not, important is to come over here and see if there's any activity going on, right? So here the last commit here was 11 days ago, three days ago, like last month, four days ago, three days ago. So despite the prices going down, there's activity here. And that's exactly what we uh, what you want to see here. Here you always see the last commit. But just important is to see that there's activity going on despite the prices uh, going down, right? You can come over here to insights. You see like what exactly they did in the last time, what was changed and so on. Okay, so that's a good sign. Uh, Twitter is active, the GitHub is active. The website changed within a few days, so they're working on that as well, right? So now what to do? The next step would be instead of selling, what maybe like intuitively many people would think like, oh my goodness, you know, it pumped, it pumped again, this thing will ne never come up again. This has a very low market cap. They're actively working on stuff in the background. The idea behind this project has huge potential. So what I'm doing in this case, I'm buying, right? That's the key guys, buying, not selling. If you are not sure, then just do nothing. Just hold whatever you have, right? Just give it another one month or two. Keep keep watching them. Uh, keep keep checking if they are still active. And if they are keep if they keep being active, it's a very good sign. And pretty much that's what you want to see. And that would also that would be the, the thing which would basically in, encourage me to to keep holding it. Um, if you are really confident, if you did your research and you you see what I see, then you might consider to buy more here, right? Because we are so low. Really low market cap, six million, right? Um, potential is asymmetric, is huge. Of course, this thing can drop more, it can go down, you know. I'm not saying it goes up for sure. I'm just saying that the signs, what we can observe, are good. So for me, this is, uh, is a strong buy at this point. Not financial advice, of course, do your own research. Um, I hope this helped. I wish you a nice day and see you in the next one.